Today we're going to take a look at Blair Witch, the sequel to the Blair Witch Project, directed by Adam Wingard and starring James Alan McCune and Callie Hernandez. James is the brother of Heather, the girl from the original Blair Witch Project, and he comes across a video on YouTube that came from a DV tape that was supposedly found in the woods near Burkittsville, Maryland, roughly in the same place where his sister went missing all those years ago. The video contains a very blurry image of a woman, and he thinks that woman just might be his long-lost sister. Already we have a bit of a problem here because the Blair Witch Project took place in 1994 and DV tapes didn't exist yet, but whatever. So James and three of his buddies meet up with the two people who found the tape and the six of them head out into the woods on a grand adventure to try and find James' long-lost sister. I'm sure I don't need to tell you it does not go well. So let's get this out of the way right off the bat. It's better than Book of Shadows. I know that's not saying much, you don't have to try too hard to do better than Book of Shadows, but it is. And in fact, it seems like they just pretended Book of Shadows never happened when they made this movie, and honestly, I am okay with that. It is, however, far inferior to the original Blair Witch Project. The setup is pretty good. You have this guy looking for his long-lost sister. It gives all these people a reason to camp out in these spooky woods with a bunch of cameras. And boy, do they have a bunch of cameras. They even have these little ear-mounted cameras that basically give you a first-person view of the actors, almost like Hardcore Henry. And they have a drone, because it's 2016, and of course they do. But they don't really get much use out of it. It's kind of an afterthought, really. And when they meet up with the people who supposedly found this DV tape that may or may not contain an image of Heather, they have a nice big battle flag of North Virginia draped on the wall. And you would think this might cause a bit of conflict between them and two of James' friends, Peter and Ashley, who just happen to be black, but no, it's never addressed at all. Opportunity successfully missed. For the most part, I thought these characters were okay. There wasn't anyone in the group that I found particularly annoying. They were fine. Acting was actually pretty solid across the board, which is rare for a found footage movie. But yeah, they were all pretty good. No real standouts or anything, but they were fine. One of the things that the original Blair Witch Project did very well, and yes, I am a fan of the original, fight me. But one of the things that it did well was taking the time to build up this very spooky atmosphere and slowly building the tension without an over-reliance on special effects and cheap jump scares. But the new Blair Witch movie throws all that shit right out the window. We got jump scare after jump scare after jump scare after fucking jump scare, and almost all of them are just these six campers accidentally bumping into each other. There's even a point where one of the characters says, I really wish people would stop doing that. Yeah, me too, because it got annoying two jump scares ago and you're still doing it. And while the original movie was generally pretty quiet and kept all of these spooky, weird noises off in the distance, this one is loud and obnoxious. Every strange noise they hear in the woods in the middle of the night is loud enough to wake up all of the wildlife and they all start howling in fear and shit. It's ridiculous. Basically, they tried to crank everything up to 11, whether it should have been cranked up or not. And it gets a bit ridiculous at times. You remember that scene in the original where they found all those creepy stick figures hanging up outside their tents? Well, in this movie, they wake up one morning and they are fucking surrounded by them. There's like hundreds of them hanging from every single fucking tree. It's just, it's silly. Also, in this movie, we actually get to see the Blair Witch. And I think that was a mistake. In the original, the witch is never on camera at all. She's always around, but you never actually see her. And I think the movie was much better off for it. Choosing to reveal the witch this time around, I think the movie loses something. They also give the witch a bunch of crazy new powers that she never had before, like telekinesis and the ability to manipulate the passage of time. And I think she might even be an alien, I'm not sure. And there's a thing that they introduce in this movie where apparently the witch cannot kill you as long as you are not looking at her. Which 
is an interesting idea, except several of the people who die in this movie never looked at her at all. Both of the black characters die without looking at the witch. And yes, the black dude dies first. How fucking original. Overall, I would say Blair Witch was okay, but not great. I would say if you're at all interested, maybe give it a rental, but that's about as far as I would go for a recommendation. And that's all I got to say about Blair Witch. So until next time, take care.